Born in 1877, Dame Laura Knight was a woman ahead of her time. At the age of 13, she was at art school. At 15, she was teaching art to support her family. And through her work, she challenged the boundaries of society. So while I'm in Nottingham, where she grew up, I had to take the opportunity to see some of her work. The Nottingham Castle Museum and Art Gallery is closed for refurbishment. So I come to meet Louise Dunning, the curator, who is going to show me some Laura Knight artwork. Louise, it's lovely to be here. I'm so excited to see these wonderful Laura Knight paintings in the flesh. This is a marvellous portrait. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, so this was painted in 1922 when Laura Knight was in her 40s and was already well established as an artist. And on first view, it really just shows a mother and a child. But of course, with Laura, you always get more than that with her portraits. Yeah. It's not that sort of saintly, traditional mother and child portrait. She's like any new mother, yes. probably tired and exhausted. Also, it's interesting that this painting is called Motherhood and not Mother and Child. Right. And although Laura herself was never a mother, I think she really empathises with this sitter and shows what it's like to be a new mum. And that's one of the sort of exceptional talents that she has. Yeah. Now, this is a very interesting looking woman. Tell me about her. This portrait is called Gypsy Splendour or Fine Feathers, and it is actually my favourite portrait in the whole collection. Wow. Do we know who she is? Yes, we do. Yes, she was called Lilo Smith. Laura met her at the Epsom races and also some of the other gypsies and was invited back to their camp in Ivor in Buckinghamshire. And over a two year period, she sort of got to know her and she painted several portraits of her. It's just so beautiful the way that she renders her face, all the wrinkles in her face and her hands. And she commented that although she had a broken nose, she still thought she was beautiful. Was this a typical portrait of that time? Well, not, not for women. I think women were supposed to be painting commissions for ladies in high society or painting still lives, for example. So here again, we see Laura's sort of really pushing at the boundaries of portraiture and trying to sort of challenge those stereotypes uh -huh. and working with people in marginalised communities. So with that in mind, there's this lovely circus painting. Yeah, so this is called Elsie on Hassan, and it was painted around 1929-30. And it's when Laura was in her 50s and she basically ran away with the circus for two years. A woman after my own heart. <laughs> this is a pensive moment before they go on and into the ring. Yes, I think it is. You can see she's just sort of relaxing on the back of that horse, really. And also the fact that this performer wearing the red dress is wearing her normal court shoes, and then she's holding onto her red performance boots. <laughs> I love the fact that Laura is a risk taker. She's a rebel. That's right, yes. And yet, in 1929, she was made a dame. And then in 1936, she was the first full female member of the Royal Academy for over 150 years. So eventually, she was accepted by yes. the establishment. Yes, she was a real example to other women artists and showed them that you could make a living through your artworks. Thank you, Louise. And I look forward to the time when the museum opens again and we can see even more of these paintings.